Yeah, this is the salty, salty run back right now. LCC is going to go for the Welk quick kill. <laughs> it's a pretty risky strat. It's entirely based on RNG. Oh, he is going for it? Well, best of luck to him. Bump, my friend. Yeah, Nikki ATB and Terra. This isn't the first time in a while that I don't even get my second missile off before uh, shell time. he got it. The last time we did one of these races he had, I mean his luck was just the ridic most ridiculous luck I've ever seen with this game as far as like the number of preemptives he got and stuff like that. Uh, to get the Welk quick kill you have to be playing on uh, Battle Speed 3 because the way that Welk works is that both the head and the shell have separate ATB bars. And then the, when the shell's ATB bar fills up after like a certain amount of real time is passed, then um, then it will the head will go into the shell. But if the shell gets its turn before <coughs> the um, the uh, the um, the head or before the timer runs out, then it does nothing. 
So in order to get the quick kill, you have to um, get lucky basically with how much, with when the uh, shell's first turn comes up, because it needs to get its first turn before the timer runs out. And then that'll give you a chance to get get your third tech missile off before its turn comes around again. If that made sense, I was kind of <laughs> I was kind of trailing off a bit because of trying to pay, actually fight a battle while explaining it. The reason why I said it's risky is because if you uh, if you don't get it, then you lose more time than you would have saved because. Uh, if you don't get the luck that you need, then you're not even going to get two missiles off before it goes into the shell. This is a since this is just a Kefka and Arsh race. I'm not going to shorten the characters' names because I don't I don't know if it actually even saves frames to shorten names if you're not playing the whole game. My guess would be no. If you fail to get the Welk quick kill, you're probably looking at two shell cycles. Or maybe one, if you, depending on if how well you're able to recover from it. Preemptives I've been getting so far, though. And the lack of wrench final attack from the repo man there. Although I did get wrenched in one of the battles I hit fought in the badge attack. Blaming Everhade is always the appropriate response. Alright. Pretty good at uh mine segment. As far as getting to level six without any extra battles. We'll see if this can, because I mean, if I can, get, if I get out of Narish in under 14 minutes, then that means I have a pretty good start. <clears throat> yeah, the, when an ever hate draws near, the only uh, appropriate command is blame ever hate.
So it's not really going to take a whole lot for me to actually improve my PB at this category, just because my uh, I, th I I don't even remember what my current Kefka and Arsh race PB is, but I know it has uh, get like getting multiple pincer attacks and getting numb spined the serpent trench for starters. Alright, net hype. Okay, no net. <laughs> That's the worst way to get trolled by this guy. It's a, it's a uh, guaranteed paralysis attack. That was a pretty good fight, actually. Other than getting netted, the main thing that can slow it down is one of the Moogles getting killed by, uh, killed by the enemies, which can make it take an extra round. Hey, Legend Olsen, thank you. Okay, I always underestimate how long this cutscene is, so I'm not going to call if this is sub-14 yet. Okay, we got it. I think. Er, 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 er. Barely, <laughs> yeah, exactly 14.
Oh, these splits are completely meaningless, by the way, too. I realized about five minutes before I started streaming that I haven't uh, ported my uh, Kafka and Narish race splits over to live split yet. And so, so I basically I just took my um, full game splits and deleted everything after Kafka at Narish, so... So I'm probably gonna gain like five or six minutes on the Kefka at Narsh split just because of uh, skipping most of Locke's scenario. reason to like excuse to uh, have movement mistakes in Figaro given that you don't have sprint shoes yet. Rip near him, I guess, then. Hey, Valentine. So weird to see this and see these text boxes with the characters' actual names in them too. I'm completely used to just T, L, and E. With the occasional break for having goofy marathon names like Everhate and uh, Metaflex. Thank you, sir.
I think of all the people in the race, Nurem is the new of this game. I mean, he's got, he's got the current record at FF4, and he's started learning FF6. Hey, Master Kratos. A submariner. Yeah, there's so much memorable dialogue in this game. <laughs> I mean, I played this game so many times as a kid that even, uh, even taking a pretty lengthy break before I started speedrunning it, I still, I mean, I, I it didn't take me long to pretty much remember almost all of the dialogue. and Chrono Trigger were my uh, SNES RPGs of choice. And then for the NES it was Dragon Warrior 4. I never actually owned a copy of, of Final Fantasy 4 until fairly recently too, just because I'd rented it several times and then when I actually, uh, then when like, I was able to pick a game for my birthday, I asked for FF6. Hey, Petulant. Ah, pretty good. My first full week back at work after getting back from c for all I only had a two-day work week before that. Uh, yes, Bravely Default is the casual game I'm currently playing. Hey, Serene Snake, thank you. I made it. I made some decent progress on it to and from C4L. 
Like I got to the fire, I beat the fire crystal boss. Hey, flan kitty. Six RPGs at once is definitely a lot. Hey, Mario Butch. used to having the star pendant. I get in Kefka at Narsh races I buy a star pendant just so the bot can't get poisoned when he's alone in the cave of Figaro. I don't normally get that in a full game run just because Solus is normally there too and has the antidote spell. Oh and plus in the way I run the game uh, Locke getting poisoned is good because that um, helps me get him into critical for uh, tunnel armor. I'm in first? I was not expecting that. I mean, I did get some good preemptives and nourish, but LCC got the Welt quick kill. Oh, and I also got pretty good. I only got one battle against a single enemy on my way from uh, Narish to Figaro. Uh, that's something I still need to just I've got about another hour to decide if I want to do something else afterwards. It won't, probably won't be a full run of anything. It would probably just be practice of uh, either FF4 or one of, the, one of my the games I'm gonna play for um, for my um, 10,000 follower special. Another side attack, nice. I will not complain. Yeah, I uh, I always feel quite humble to look at like how many people are interested in watching me play video games. Hey, Gangrel. <laughs> okay then. Somebody in my cartridge likes me, apparently. Probably gonna be a pretty sick Vargas time, unless I mess up the bullets and puts or something.
guess the idea is that Vargas is able to knows how to train bears or something. Cause the, it isn't translated very well, but one of the lines when they're talking to Sabin after the fight is about how they how like the uh, Terra mistook Sabin for one of Vargas's bears at first. Sub-32 is a pretty darn good Vargas split. I think... I don't remember if it was my last race of this or d just another run around the same time where I had gotten po I got poisoned like three times on Mount Colts too. I called that my Sake Geist percent run. <laughs> Sake Geist is a wizard at finding ways to get poisoned in RPGs. before I get to the uh, cave, and that'll kind of mess with my menu in a bit. About to say in before no encounter. Well, I guess that would have been no encounters if I hadn't walked away from uh, in the wrong direction. I can read katakana somewhat decently, but uh, that's it, and that, that's just the Japanese alphabet for foreign words, so katakana generally translates directly into English. Okay, no softlock? I pre I've taught myself katakana pretty much exclusively from games, to actually and from reading like reading stuff in uh, on Japanese sites yeah hopefully he'll uh, he'll stick with it enough to uh, Get a decent shot at getting onto a re have a good shot at getting onto a relay team. So since this is a race, I skip the treasure room here and just go for the river. Uh, well, I, I haven't opened, I haven't started signups for the relay yet. I just started the thread on SDA forum for pe for people talking about logistics. I'm planning to, st oops, I'm planning to start signups, uh, like probably maybe like the first of June. Bravely default would be kind of an. In a, have some kind of weird there's some stuff about it that would make it kind of weird as a speedrunning game like the online stuff 
<clears throat> like um, the bill link thing would make would be kind of weird if you were using that and uh, like getting the getting items from your from your town that you rebuild. But it has some things that look really, really interesting too, like this, like the selectable difficulty and encounter rates. So I'm definitely hoping that this is, this can be even bigger and better than the last relay, as far as like how how good the players are and uh, how many viewers we get. Well, I mean, I mean, I, I, I don't really have. I didn't say I think that the online features would be bad. I just think they would be kind of weird. If someone wants to throw in a link to my SDA forum thread, that would be great. <laughs> Glad to be of service, Gangrel. I also I don't I don't need to fight these pterodons because this is a race to. Ordinarily, you would want to fight these pterodons in order to um, level up Edgar one by one, but that's. That w that's only needed for the Opera House rap battles. It doesn't actually help really before Kefka at Nosh. That's the question I ask every time I do this, uh, as far as where exactly they're running to when you run away from battles on the raft. I should really be getting my cursors in order to... Okay, so four battle river, that's really good actually. That only means I got two non-required battles. Alright, got the Ultra's quick kill too, as far as killing him before he did Tentacle on Sabin. It's not hard, but I do need to pay attention to make sure I'm not wasting any time with my, uh, in with my like, character turn changes and inputs. 
mean, this is one of the easiest battles in the game, just because there's no randomness at all to what Ultros does. <laughs> Other than who he attacks with his first attack, but after that he follows a completely scripted uh, sequence. Before uh, Phoenix Down drop, after that really good river. Uh, yes, this is a race, so suplexing the Phantom Train is required unless, uh, unless you're prevented from doing so. You have to at least try to suplex the Phantom Train in a race. Kind of an it's an honor system thing. Hey, Del, good evening. Yeah, grab it. getting Shadow is mostly about getting his ninja gear armor, which you can use with Locke for faster escapes. Yeah, Phoenix down! I knew it. I knew that was coming after that uh, really good river. So I'm going to lose some time on the uh, Templars battle now because of not having the black belt. Yeah, rear drop hype. Everybody loves rear drops, right? Yeah, I blame ever hate for the record. <laughs> Yeah. 
I think one of my, like the first big Kefka at Narsh race I was in last year was with four, like five total people, and I remember two, th only three of them actually got the uh, black belt. <laughs> So since I don't have the black belt, I just need to make sure to remember to change the battle speed back to 6 before the Templars. The reason why the black belt is so much faster is just because I'm fighting with counterattacks, and uh, Sabin can one-shot the grunts with his counterattack, and then takes kind of, well, it takes two and a half basically regular attacks to kill Templars. So you only do so counter a couple times and/or just attack when they're low on HP. Uh, Dark Slash, there's a link in my uh, stream title for a site that lets you view all the races at once. <laughs> oh, Nirm. He's, he was asking for it by naming somebody Mr. MV, but na naming somebody Rain, too, is really uh, showing... Uh, no heed for the consequences. Uh, if, well, if I had the black belt, I would defend in order to have the amount of damage I'd be taking, just because I'd be in the front row in order for Sabin to do full damage with his regular attacks. <clears throat> so I kind of just sit there, basically, until... Uh, pretty much until, like, three of the enemies are dead and then just attack to finish off the fourth one. But depending on how many times I get hit, critted, or uh, fail to counterattack, I might need to use a potion to keep from dying. Nope. <laughs> did, it, did anybody else not get the black belt, or was I it? Odds of getting the Phoenix Down drop from the leader battle is 1 out of 8. I think I was in first place as of Ultralis, but maybe LCC passed me here because of, uh, because of no black belt. Although in, in before I, uh, in before I um, actually need that Phoenix down for some for some reason and uh... oh actually ooh I should have front for this because he, he can kill these guys with his regular attack. Hey Tide, I'm sorry.
glad I did that now, because you can fight, have to fight either three or four of these guys for, for the first two battles here. Getting four for both of them is kind of bad luck. Okay, at least Cyan didn't use Dispatch this time. That is a, that's just, it kill, it, I mean, his regular attack is enough to kill those guys, and it has a much faster animation. Pummel and lift instead. I, yeah, I mean, I'm. I don't do pummel often enough to really have the uh, inputs completely down. The animation's like frames faster than Orabolt. I should have just suplexed him, actually. I'm much better at suplex than uh, pummel. Yeah. And apparently you don't apparently they leave the keys in the Vagitek too. Well, I actually, that's that Magitek is unattended because I killed the guys in it. <laughs> hey, no battles. So what I what I want to get here is single ghosts, although ideally not single ghost back attacks. Single enemies are easier to run away from than groups in this game. I also don't really need to worry about my health for the first screen just because the game forces you to use the healing spring. Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah, and then Shadow. I like how if you bring Shadow to the camp, he just kind of wanders off, and then all of a sudden shows up with Magitek. Like, ooh, -hoo -hoo, don't mind me. I just uh, probably killed some guy and took his Magitek while you weren't looking. Yeah, and how um, Cyan, despite being a knight. And, and, who, who is clearly established as a pretty old-fashioned sort of guy is, a, is, is able to quickly learn how to pilot Magitek. That was a really, really good, freaking good Phantom Forest, too, by the way. I think I only had, what... Well, I mean, I had a back attack, but I think I only had, like, one more battle after that, and it was a single ghost.
Those guys can be annoying if they use Demi, just because it's got a really slow animation, but again, single enemies preferred. In a full game run, I would definitely say the first hour and a half is the most RNG heavy, just because you don't have smoke bombs yet, so you don't have an e you how how quickly you can run away from battles is a lot more dependent on RNG. But once once you get through this scenario and can buy smoke bombs, then all you have to do in order to uh, run away is the first character whose turn comes up uses a smoke bomb. Yeah, recruit the ghost. Hey, if if you're able, if you glitch the if you glitch the ghost into your uh, party after this point, you can actually use you can one shot Kafka because <laughs> uh, the uh, the ghost's possess command is uh, is an instant death attack that no enemy in the game has immunity to because you're not expected to be able to have ghosts past uh, the end of the Phantom Train. Oh, oh, by the way, the, notice how the music glitched out, too? It's just been playing the train with no actual music. That happens here sometimes. Oh, there's the music. Um, I don't remember exactly. I think it might involve using the airship glitch. Or the sketch glitch or something really, really massive. Or just hack- or hacking, too. I do kind of wish they'd have picked runners that don't already have partnership and large uh, fan bases, though, for this. Looking at the list of the first round of people they picked for the Twitch community spotlight thing, it's pretty much all speedrunners that are already really popular. Oh, really? I'm surprised I lost 33 seconds on that split too, given how uh, how good my uh, encounter luck was. Oh, oh, you know, no black belt. That's why. Yeah, if I, you know, this probably would have been a sub-hour phantom train if I'd have gotten the black belt. Yep. 
The train did indeed say Kappa there. If anyone doesn't know, the imp status is called Kappa in the Japanese version. That's why the uh, imp that gives you the tutorial for uh, <clears throat> for the um, for Gao's leap and rage commands is called Kappa, just because they didn't actually translate it into imp. Hey, Crumps, evening, sir. I can, I do kind. I mean, I can see where, why Twitch would do that, though, because I mean, by having streams that have partner and sub, they can get more people to sub, and Twitch gets half of the sub money. So they do. They gain. They gain more from having partners on their thing than smaller streams. But just from a just from a community perspective, I would rather see some smaller uh, streams get get the exposure. <laughs> yeah, if um if Sabin had gotten confused by Evil Tooth, then he might I might have gotten a self plex there. Oh, nah. Eh, I can. I mean, it shouldn't. I mean, if somebody does something really, really stupid, then it shouldn't be that hard to pull the plug, though. I mean, I'm sure Twitch is going to be pretty carefully monitoring what people do on the front page. Oh, that's hmm, that's interesting, cause I. I didn't have any trouble getting the Final Fantasy relay on the front page, and there was, I mean, probably over half of the runners in the relay were uh, not partnered. They didn't really ask a whole lot of questions. I mean, I told them what it was. I mean, it was a uh, race between 12 Final Fantasy speedrunners. And then they just said, sure. And I'm sure they'll do so again for the uh, fall relay. <laughs> this battle here is not random. It takes one minute after the uh, battle starts to uh, before the boss will spawn. I used I just used I used the music as a cue for that. When I get to the belt, there's a little bit of randomness, but uh, um, I also did some manipulation on my cartridge before starting. No, I just thought of something. Now I'm wondering if about, um, well, actually this would be riskier, but potentially faster to have Cyan use Retort at some point during the, uh, right before killing the last Piranha, basically, other than Sabin would have to do, have to do it. Because I'm sure that Retort could one-shot Rizipas, but then, but, I mean, then Rizipas would have to actually attack Cyan. So it would be risky, but potentially faster. And risky means there's no way I'd do it in a race.
I mean, I honestly have no idea why I get the amount of viewers and attention that I do. I mean, obviously I would want to watch my own stream, but that's never, I mean, I don't quite understand how that translates into large, uh, into large viewership compared to, like, other people that run the same games, but don't get, but get much fewer viewers. I'm not complaining, but it, but I still just don't really get it. Hey, Serenic. Uh, well, yeah, you would have True Knight in a full game run. The pro well, the problem with that tide, though, is that the game automatically heals you when you jump off the waterfall, so you would actually have to beat up, try to beat up uh, Cyan then. I don't know if you'd actually be able to do that before, before the uh, timer runs out. Even though, you, I mean, you have a minute, but you, you wouldn't really get that many turns. I didn't, I really have not gotten that many new followers because of uh, my marathon runs, to be honest. Like my illusion, like my illusion of Gaia run at SGDQ got me a grand total of four Twitch followers. And I think for Final Fantasy IX, I got very few compared to Spike, who got like thousands. I don't think I've ever actually fought this battle on the Velt before. Is that enough to kill it? Yes. Well, you generally always want to do um, Sabin's scenario first because you can. Um, the town you go to at the end is your first chance to buy smoke bombs, which then lets you get out of random battles faster than the other scenarios. That's that's pretty much it. I mean, the other for as far as the other two, the way I do my glitchless run, I don't really have a choice because um, I have to do uh, Terra's scenario second in order to take the Genji glove off of Edgar so that I can then use it for fighting tunnel armor in Locke's scenario. But um, in the uh, if I, in the in the normal any percent route, I think right now they're actually doing um, Locke's scenario second so that they have the running shoes from the uh, mayor's house that they can then give to um, uh, s like somebody like what I th like Terra or somebody to get, be able to run away faster in Terra's scenario but um, in this race it's not gonna matter just because I'm skipping all of South Figaro so I don't get the running shoes so I'm just gonna do I'm gonna do Terra's next just because that's what I'm used to Yeah, I mean, in, yeah, in casual, this, I mean, it's, it's, it's like two to three times longer than the other two scenarios put together. Especially in casual play, if you're actually fighting the battle, all the random battles, and exploring and stuff. Osmaneku, good evening. I 
Oh, it looks like looks like LCC got a bad belt battle. My belt was, I mean, the battle I had to fight to find Gao was not one of the better ones, just because there were four enemies that had one of which I could, wasn't actually able to kill with uh, dispatch, but, or yeah, but. Um, <laughs> The fact that I found Gao first try and didn't get into any inescapable battles was nice. Although my odds of getting inescapable battles are quite low though, just because before I started the run I did a little bit of manipulation by uh because <laughs> the, the group of monsters that you encounter on the belt is stored in the cartridge battery memory. So you, there's, you can reset the game a certain number of times in between attempts in order to manipulate getting good belt battles. Alright, in before numb spines, that's, that's a paralysis attack that one of the enemies in the serpent trench can use, and that makes, that makes you lose a ton of time if, if you get paralyzed. This is a really, really dangerous fight, by the way, so I'm just going to fight. <laughs> this th if this angle form is alone, it can use Aqua Rake, which might be a party wipe. <laughs> hey, um, um, they, they're really, really good at sharing, I guess, the fact that they're all able to share one uh, diving helmet. The angle form, like the angle form, can only do aqua rake if it's by itself, though. So when it's in a group like here, then I'm I'm not worried. I mean, with the kind of lifestyle this guy leads, like jumping off waterfalls, jumping into underwater trenches, boarding strange trains, I mean, <laughs> how he's able to uh, share a uh, scuba tank is kind of the least of my questions about this guy. I'm pretty sure it's only the first encounter that you can get in the Serpent Trench that can have a single angle form, just because the number of battles you get here is fixed, but the enemy formations for them will vary. Okay, so that this in this run I have got I got zero pincers basically, and and, and I past this point it doesn't matter anymore because I'm about to get smoke bombs, which let me run away from pincers without having to fight one of the sides. Start to finish, other than not getting the black belt, that was a really good seven scenario. Like if I had if I'd have gotten the black belt, I probably would have gotten a sub hour phantom train, which the only person that the, the only known person that's actually gotten sub hour phantom train is LCC, who's the record holder.
Okay. <laughs> One battle uh, turret scenario. I don't actually remember offhand how many ch battle chances there are in uh, in that part, but. Um, it's certainly more than one. It's maybe it's either three or four, I want to say, and each one's 50/50 odds. Yeah, like that's why the holy element is called pearl in this version, just because of the. Um. Nintendo not liking religious references. And of course, <laughs> obligatory whining about how my uh, my like my best Phantom Train split of all time is in a race instead of a full run. Haha! I fear no pincers anymore. Of course, with that that could have actually gotten a bit dangerous if Bannon had gotten, or if the enemy enough enemies had attacked Bannon. Hey, Wells. I can't remember because I'm not used to not having the black belt so I can't remember if I actually took the sprint shoes off of seven or not so I'm doing that just for safety Okay, oh, El Magus just uh, reminded me that it's three battles in the uh, Terra Scenario River, and you can skip um, two of them. Okay, hopefully I don't mess this up, because I'm not used to doing it.
fake preemptive <laughs> when I'm you're, when I I'm almost full on ATB, so I th think it's a preemptive, but it actually isn't. talking. I haven't actually played Xenogears, but that's the main thing I always hear about it, is that it's got a lot of really long cutscenes. Alright, so if I don't get ice would by Kefka, this would probably be under an hour and a half, which is a pretty good time. Yeah, Locke, Locke's, Locke is going to absorb the magic with his knife. It'll be completely safe, right? Right? I heard the same thing about Legend of Dragoon too, like <clears throat> Real Kun was telling me at C4L that um, one of the discs of Legend of Dragoon has has like uh, it has four battles in it and all the rest is uh, cutscenes and other non-battle related stuff. AAA hey, 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 meetings! <laughs> So in the Kefka at Narsh race, the uh, Kefka at Narsh battle is pretty intense actually, just because you don't actually have any of the uh, stuff that'll let you make it a safe battle. Because if, <clears throat> if you have, I mean, you don't have Celis, so you can't use Runic to absorb his magic, and you don't have the uh, running shoes, hyper wrist, or second earrings from uh, from South Figaro because of skipping it. So. I mean, in, the, in a full game run, you can use either of the. You can either use Celis or use those relics on certain characters in order to guarantee being able to beat Kafka before uh, his third turn, which is when he might use Ice too. But uh, lacking all of those options, I pretty much just have to hope he doesn't do it.
<laughs> yeah. Trust your eyes. Trust General Kutan. After I'll explain. I mean, unless somebody in chat wants to, while I'm fighting Kafka, I'll explain why I've got a Boogle with me uh, after the race is over. Okay, 128.24 SRL time. 